Okay, question number one. The equation y equals 5.5x represents a proportional relationship. What is the constant of proportionality? Okay, constant of proportionality, you guys should already have on your page the formula. y equals kx. k is my constant of proportionality. I can't have a plus or minus at the end, but the number that goes in front of there, that's going to be my constant of proportionality. Now, when I get to question number two, the hard part to question two, you have to take a quick look and realize on the bottom, you have to read that part when it defines who is Y and who is X. The table shows the number of white and yellow flowers Kara and Hector used in five different arrangements. Here's Kara's. Here's Hector's. And it says, are the number of white and yellow flowers in Kara's arrangement proportional? Write an equation that relates the number of yellow, Y, here's Y for yellow, and X, white, or W. They use W. I think you guys are used to seeing K equals Y over X. They're using Y over W this time. So now, make sure that when you write this out, I have all of the yellows are on top. So I'm going to try to write pretty small over here that I have 5 over 3, 10 over 6, 15 over 9, 20 over 12, and 25 over 15. Now this gets into doing 5th grade, 6th grade reduced fractions. 5 over 3. 10 over 6 reduces to 5 over 3 by dividing by, five, dividing by 2. So that can be reduced to 5 over 3. 15 over 9. Who in here can raise your hand and tell me what do I, what can I reduce and divide into a 15 over 9? Trent? 3. three. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 5. So that reduces to a 5 over 3. What well, reduces into a 20 over 12? What can I divide into a 20 and a 12 that they both have? Now if you're bad at reducing, just divide by 2. I can get 10 over 6. And then divide by 2 again. 10 over 6 reduces to 5 over 3. So I could have divided by 4 and gotten 5 over 3. And last but not least, I can barely see it. 25 over 15 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So all of these give me 5 over 3. So anytime I have this, Who's got my equation for writing equations that relates the number of yellow flowers to the number of white flowers? Y equals, who can raise their hand and tell me, what's my number for W here? Bo? Y equals 5 thirds W. 5 thirds W. Now notice, all of these became 5 thirds. That's where we're getting the 5 thirds from. All of them get reduced down to 5 thirds. Now, question number two says, are the number of white and yellow flowers in Hector's arrangement proportional writing equation that relates the number of yellow flowers to white flowers? Now, here's the hard part. When we say proportional, that means multiplying and dividing. That means 5 thirds multiplied by 2 becomes 10 sixths. Now, if I go look at Hector, Hector, I'm going to rewrite all of Hector's up there. Let me sneak down to here. Hector became 6 over 4, 10 over 8, 14 over 12, 18 over 16, 22 over 20. The reason I'm doing it that way is they told me that yellow was Y, Y goes on top, Y over X. What do you notice is happening with all of these? Great. Perfect. So if I was to put an equation comparing W to Y, how do I get from a white to a yellow, 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 a white to a yellow? Y equals, what am I doing to every W to create the Y? If I have 4 becomes 6. Now, and I always tell you, go back to this. Here's your equation. Down here, you're going to write Y equals something to do with W. Start with W. 
I want you to put your finger on W and say 4 became 6, 8 became 10, 12 became 14, 16 became 18, 20 became 22. What am I doing to get to my larger number? You're adding 2. I'm adding 2 plus 2. That's my equation. I thought that that was a little hard for you guys to come up with. Now, automatically, this is not proportional. It's not proportional because of the plus 2 on the end. So if I would have had 100 for white, if I had 100 for white, how many yellow do I got? If I have 100 for white, how many yellow will I have? If I have to add 2, what do I get? 102. Now, this one up here, proportional that I multiply by 5 over 3. That's where you're going to want to definitely leave fractions when you do your stuff.